Apple Pools, that's Poo Queen of Cups Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Trap. So this is a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is. Or you can check out your Moon, Rising, and your Venus sign. So, Universe Spirits and Gas, what love messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the tea? What's going on? We're seeing feminine energy. So, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody with feminine energy. Um, some of you guys... Somebody feminine side is about to come out towards you because they have unfinished business with you. Uh, and I feel like this person might start taking more action. Okay. So let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay, Pisces. What y'all got going on? What y'all got going on? Some of y'all. This is somebody that you could have been having a good time with. This is somebody that you actually wanted to bring to begin with. Somebody who actually made you feel alive. But in due time, y'all know y'all gotta make a decision to walk away from this person. What this person feel this way about you? So Mm. what's going on with that let's yeah, see look coming together this person's gonna come back around let me let me y'all y'all know we in this shadow phase and it sound like oh, this now they want to come back around some people detach you from people some people is actually um coming i mean the past is coming back towards something some people so yeah i'm not really surprised about this at all yeah there's somebody that you need to release so you already did it start some of y'all got brand new stuff coming out yeah they want a brand new start they finna get ready to reach out hunty mm. yeah reconciliation want to come back to god though yeah this person think they slick <laughs> oh now they want to listen and they want to listen they got the they got the clarity that they needed after the break that y'all took after y'all actually disconnected from y'all from this person, y'all really start loving yourself more and start shining more with yourself. So you start doing self self love, self care. And I feel like this person see that. Be careful if this person is an energy vampire. I'm just saying, cause um yeah, they telling you to change your focus though. So um. Let's say, honey, let's say that then. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm going to pull from the horoscope um, deck. It could be a sign that you're dealing with that pop out. Or it could just be the messages. I love the messages on these cards because it be resonating with people. So let's see what they got to tell you, honey. So let's see. Oh, we got moon and Pisces. Some of y'all could have a moon and Pisces as well for this person, though. Look at y'all. Told y'all y'all did self-love, self-care. Um, Sun and Pisces, number 12. Higher, higher purpose. Align yourself with love and wisdom. I told y'all that's what y'all doing. So, we have, some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody who got uh, their moon in Libra. 
took y'all son in Sagittarius number nine, adventure stride into new territory. Some of y'all even found new love and started talking to somebody new too. Or you need to. Moon and Libra number 19, love. Bring peace to your life and relationships will flourish. Some of y'all, it ain't, this ain't even talking about love. Some of y'all, this is just really just talking about loving yourself or just genuinely having self-love and self-care. So let's see. Some of y'all could have had a lot of fights with this person, a lot of conflict. That's why y'all detached from each other. I feel like this person is waiting on communication though. Or they trying to make a move. They waited for you to make a move before they make a move. But I don't feel like y'all is. Some of y'all already talking to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, once y'all ended this, look. Once y'all ended this and felt betrayed and backstabbed by this person, y'all start putting love into yourself. <laughs> Which brought you happiness. And you got a brand new start, brand new beginning. Can't make this shit up at all. I'll be trying to tell people y'all need to go ahead and go do that love, self-care. Don't worry about this person. Mm. Some of y'all, this person, this person is very attractive. Some of y'all, this is a Scorpio. Y'all make the decision to leave their ass out in the cold. Don't matter how much you love them or care for them. Which was the best thing ever. Now this person, yeah. Y'all did it, all that conflict, all the mental conflict, all that physical fighting. I hope y'all wasn't, you know, wasn't any violence that went on. But y'all really released a lot of conflict in y'all life. Well, you need to. Now this person trying to sit up here. Oh, now they want you back after you leave them out in the cold. Ace of Pentacles wanted to flip over, yeah. Will of Fortune. Y'all got other shit that's going on. Y'all got other stuff that's, yeah. You got other stuff that's, that's coming, coming to fruition. This person was toxic. And even though they're trying to say that they, they coming out of the toxic stage, this person was still toxic in your life. Like, yeah, okay. Cycle ended, cut out communication. <laughs> Could be a Virgo y'all dealing with. Or Taurus. So some of y'all was married to this person, all right? Some of y'all had a long-term commitment with this person. But this person even though somebody went into hermit mode this person they played a lot of mad games and i feel like they they went into hermit mode on purpose so y'all would actually come and take action and come towards them that's what i feel like that that, uh, that this was look this ain't even a happy home no more some of y'all this you had a family with this person mm. It is safe for you to love. So if you are seeing somebody new, they telling you that it's safe for you to love. You don't have to sit up here and give this person another chance. Very soon. Yeah, very soon the soulmate is actually going to come to it. I can't make this shit up. Y'all think I be fucking lying and playing when I be sitting up here pulling these cards. What do that say? New love and soulmate. So very soon, you need to realize that it is safe for you to love somebody else. Because you got new love that's going to come towards you. So they're telling you to stay optimistic about your love life. You don't have to just settle for when this person come back. So let's see. What else do you got for Pisces? High honor. 
Some of y'all got some unexpected money coming in with unexpected income. Some of y'all got a child by, the, by this person. I said some of y'all could have had a family with this person. Give me one more. This person is just bad for business, though. That's the thing with this bad health. Like, give me one more. Yeah, I told you, bad for business. Coughing. End it. Dead it. If you already did, keep moving. Keep moving forward. But I feel like this person still going to try to come towards you and um, reconcile with you. <laughs> Not surprising, is it? Because <laughs> y'all have been through this same cycle with this person before. And this person, for some reason, they keep thinking that it's fun and games. No. It's not. Nobody want to keep on going back and forth. So what advice do you have for Pisces? Have faith in your dreams. Waxing percent moon. Yep. What is that? Believe in the impossible blue moon. And conclusions are within reach. Give me one more. Don't let your past hold you back. Can't make this up. So, here we got work through your fears, new moon, and Scorpio. Y'all need to realize that it's something else that can be better for you, and you need to go into new territory. You need to realize that you don't just have to settle for this person because they keep coming back and want to do the same old cycle again. There's something on the horizon that's new for you. So, either you're going to jump on this, band, this bandwagon and go for what's something new, or you're going to go ahead and keep on going towards the past. They telling you right here, believe in the impossible. If you want something new, believe in your dreams. Don't let your past hold you back. Can't make this up. Seriously. Stop being fearful of something new. And don't stop settling. Okay. So that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Also, my Instagram is down in the, in the description box as well. I would definitely appreciate if you guys go over there, hit that follow button for me. I do, um, you know, random, random love. Hold on, this damn shadow phase or this retrograde. Ugh, making me tongue tied. Um, I do uh, random collective love messages over there so go over there do me a favor join us over there too and that's pretty much it boo no. oh i just tried to ram y'all <laughs> oh i thought i was <laughs> but that's all that i have for y'all i love you guys and i'll talk to you guys later bye poo poos